Working out in the morning takes discipline. Because I worked out this morning. Yes, that is right guys. I had a really good workout this morning. I roll out of bed, turn on some ice cube. I don't know why, but ice cube in the morning <laughs> gets me going. So I roll out of bed, I grab my dumbbells, and I do a quick exercise. In this case, I did chest and tries on a Monday morning, and I feel great. I had a small cup of coffee, one cup of organic coffee, and drank a bottle of water, and I just did a quick exercise, man, I feel great. And in today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys that it is never too late to start exercising. Check out this video, this is my mom working out. My mom always loved fitness, but she never really had enough time to work out because she was so busy taking care of her grandchildren. And she didn't really know a whole lot about eating proper food. And just recently, my mom and I got on a really good plan on ways to cut back bad food and start eating healthy food and keeping ourselves active. Well, my mom took health to a whole new level and uh, she is super active. Actually, she's more active than me. You think I'm the ninja warrior? Look at my mom, check out this video. My mom's the real ninja. All right guys, so you gotta ask yourself, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for to get started? You know, there's a quote by Eckhart Tolle, and he's asked, if not now, when? So when are you gonna start? Are you waiting for something to happen first before you can start? Are you waiting for like the perfect situation? Maybe you gotta get a gym membership. Maybe you have to like research everything, or maybe you need to know what you need to work out first before you get started. Sometimes you just gotta get started, um, and then your plan will unfold itself. You gotta get that momentum. You gotta get momentum. Otherwise, it's, you're not going to go anywhere. Uh, there's a thing called analysis paralysis, where you're trying to analyze every perfect situation in your head. And then before you know it, because you're analyzing so much and you're trying to figure everything out, you never get started. You never take the first step. So you got to take the first step. You got to get some momentum and you got to get out there and just start exercising. You got to start today. If not now, when, right? nothing like stairs in the morning. No. No. Absolutely no. No. Yes. Yum. God dang, that meal that I just had was so dang hot. Almost burned my tongue. I hate it when I burn my tongue. Have you ever bit in the pizza and you burn the roof of your mouth? And then like the roof of your mouth is sore for like three days and the tip of your tongue is on fire. I almost did that. Thank God I stopped eating that. 
reasons other than her record-breaking backstroke time. Stasha Kowalski now holds two records at Lakeside Swim Club, 100-meter backstroke champion and the oldest member on the swim team. I've become a, a star in my old age. <laughs> at 92 years old, Kowalski competed in her first swim meet a few Saturdays ago. She not only got through it, she crushed it, breaking two backstroke records for her age bracket. And she breaks the world record in swimming. She found her passion, she got really inspired, and then she started breaking all of these world records. So this old woman is very inspirational. And, and there was another old lady, she was like 70 something years old, 70 something, and she was on the Steve Harvey show, and she's like a bodybuilder. So again guys, it's never too late to start exercising. You know, don't wait for something to happen before you can start, just get started because there's a lot of people out there that are still exercising in their 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, it's, it's crazy, so don't give up. Is it true that you took up bodybuilding when you were 59? I was 59 years old when I started competing in bodybuilding. I had no clue what bodybuilding was all about. And <laughs> I discovered that through discipline, commitment, doing the things that you want to do, age is a number. You don't have <laughs> All right guys, so I found a nice spot to chill and relax. Sometimes I like to get myself away from the job site and just sit down in peace. I get to meditate, I get to relax, I get to um, eat my lunch, and I, ha I make time to make these vlogs. A lot of guys are like, I don't have enough time to work out, I don't have enough time to make these videos, I don't have enough time to do X, Y, Z. But let me tell you something and be a little bit in your face. You always have time. You can make time. You have 24 hours in a day. You sleep for eight. You have maybe another eight hours of work. So that leaves you with what? Another eight hours of, for, uh, of, of personal time. So within those eight hours, maybe you spend two hours with your family. That gives you another six hours. You know, so you, you have time to get stuff done. Working out is only 20 minutes, guys. If you don't have 20 minutes to work out, then then I don't, I don't know what I can do to help you. You saw what I did this morning. I did chest this morning, I did some triceps this morning, and all I had was two dumbbells. Just play some music to get you moving, and then roll on the ground and start exercising. Do some sit-ups, do some push-ups. It takes discipline to change. You know, your personality wants to be comfortable. Your ego wants to be comfortable. It doesn't want to be uncomfortable. You know? Yeah, just to add to that, guys, um, your ego doesn't like change. Your personality doesn't like change. You know, anything that contradicts your personality or anything that contradicts your ego, uh, you're going to have some resistance. Your, your personality doesn't want you to get up because it wants to be comfortable. It, your ego doesn't want you to work out because it wants to be comfortable. But you know what? Don't listen to that and don't let that mindset of yours stop you from your goals. Your mind is going to keep you from getting up. Your mind's going to keep you from being uncomfortable. That's all I wanted to say. Let's go back to the video. A lot of people don't like change because it's scary. It's scary to change. But you got to make change, man. How else are you going to grow if you're not changing? If you're not growing, you're dying, right? So you got to always continue to grow. Don't listen to the naysayers. Don't worry about what they say. Focus on what you believe in. What do you believe in? Do you believe that you are someone that can make change? And if so, do it. Make the change. Forget about everybody else. There's always going to be someone that's going to that's going to say something to throw you off your tracks. But you know what? Don't listen to that. Stay on track and keep moving towards your goals. If you're moving towards your goals, your goals will move towards you. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. That's all I want to talk about is that it's never too late to get started. It's never too late to get started. 
my mom is exercising now and she's kicking butt. She's always exercising, she's dancing in the morning. I even have my family in the Philippines exercising now. I see some of my cousins and aunts and uncles at the gym, they're on treadmills. So that's the key guys, I want you to live healthy, happy lives because you don't want to have health problems. When you have health problems, that's when life really sucks, right? So I want you guys to get out there, get some blood flowing, start eating right, start exercising, and just start feeling good. If you watch this entire video, guys, give it a thumbs up, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll receive more videos like this. Again, guys, thanks for watching, and see you guys in the next video.